The cost of not following your dreams is spending the rest of your life wishing you had. This land has more than 30,000 lakes in a summer which never ends. People call it the Sunshine State, the water ski capital of the world. What would it be like to ski those lakes, hit those ramps and fly under those blue sunny skies? To witness this water and sun every day, you're about to meet someone who did. This is a film about water ski flyers. My name is Igor Marozov and I'm a water ski flyer. It all began here in Moscow, a beautiful but rather unlikely place for professional water skiing. Although my family and my friends all live here, I knew I had to leave to chase my dream of becoming one of the best water ski jumpers in the world. And that's why I'm here, in Florida. No! Wait! This story is about flying. Water, speed, the wind in your face, acceleration, power and flight. Some say that when you fly, time stops, and the time you spend flying is the extra time that you add to your life. This is an exciting reason to become a professional water ski jumper. I don't know exactly how it happened, but I'm really happy it did. As long as I can remember, water skiing was always part of my life. There were times when I hated cold water, my dad yelling at me, you know, they call it coaching. And all I wanted to do was play games and not ski. Eventually, I got pretty good in water skiing and started to really enjoy it. A huge part of my success comes from the support of my family and friends, who always believed in me. That kept me motivated to train hard every day. My high work paid off. Today, I'm a part of the world's elite group of water ski jumpers, who soar way over 200 feet in the air. And they are some of the most amazing athletes in extreme water sports. I'm proud to call them my friends. They call Florida the water ski capital of the world for a reason. There is no other place in the world that has as many water ski lakes and pro water skiers per square mile. So let's start this thrilling ride by visiting a beautiful little water ski lake just 10 minutes away from Walt Disney World in Orlando. The Orlando area has so many options. If you have a tailwind or conditions are just not right on one lake, you can always head out to your friend's lake half an hour away to find the perfect headwind to water ski jump and hang out together. What's up guys? Zach Warden here. 
and welcome to my home. It's my home, man. It's my castle. Castle. Yeah. See as far as the eye can see. It's all mine. We'll have a good time, man. Weather's sick today, so we'll do some ramping, do some flying. It'll be a good time. Well, after I get done skiing here, I'm gonna go do some golfing later. And uh, after golfing, go have a few beers and, and celebrate another fun day. I got into water skiing uh, when I was like two years old. My, my family's water skiers and they got me into it. I actually started wakeboarding before I started water skiing and I realized that jumping was awesome and so I'm gonna do that forever. This right here? Yeah. It's my baby, man. Look at this guy. Sexy, red and white, ski nautique, 409 horsepower, top speed 51 miles an hour. Best thing in the biz, business. This son, rolling with this one and that one, pulling out gas for fun. But it was just a dream for the team who was a fiend. Started smoking wolves at 16 and running up. I turned pro when I was uh, 17 and skiing a few pro victories. Uh, won U.S. Open last year. Uh, I signed with Nautique back in 2011 after my first, uh, second pro year and been with them since and that's been a, been a blessing. They gave me a boat to train behind and uh, allows me to be able to kind of ski when I want to, which is pretty awesome. And unfortunately, last few years had some injuries, kind of sidelined me, but getting over it and been skiing good since. I grew up in water skiing. I've only really ever known water skiing. I went to school for water skiing, so it feels right to surround myself with a bunch of skiers and people who are like-minded and think like me, and we all get along great and have a good time. So my family extends outside my immediate family. I have family all over the world with my water skiing friends, so I love it, and I do it for that. A couple years ago, I lived out in California just to pursue snowboarding for six months, and I had a blast doing that, and then I got into mountain biking for a while, got into golfing, uh, skateboarding, anything that involves going fast, getting adrenaline going, sign me up for it, because that's what I love. Thanks for coming to my house, guys. It's been a lot of fun, but you got to go, so we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>our place in Palm Bay. Welcome. Well, I'd say a typical day with friends down, it's beautiful 85 degrees and sunny. I got both ramps set up, one each way. It looks like a crosswind today, so I don't know. I guess we get to pick either one. We'll do crosswind this way, crosswind this way. I got both courses mapped, both ramps set, distance balls. I mean, pretty dialed. Yeah, 
I grew up on a farm, farm in Canada. They called my dad the farming water skier and he decided to build a little pond for the cows to drink out of, which I decided was where I was gonna spend every day all summer and learn to ski and skiing over farming and somehow I ended up in Florida, trying to live the dream. Definitely be nice to uh, win my first world championship this year. Been a goal of mine for, I guess since I was you know, eight years old, doing everything I can to be most prepared and, you know, just have a good five weeks of training leading up to it. Get down on my knees and I just, just grind it in, man. And uh, two, three hours later, I'll have her waxed. Pretty high tech. Well, right here is where all the lifting weights and working out and fitness and all that stuff pays off. I haven't had a, like a speed gun on me in a long time, but um, I think the last time was like 10 years ago. Actually, Ryan Fitz was, he was jumping. He's the most fun dude to watch, but he, uh, he had like 67 miles an hour at that tournament. So we're going farther now and the boats are stronger, so I'm guessing about 70, 70, and you know, hopefully, hopefully we're holding 70 off the top into the air. Resist the boat, keep my direction, and see how much you know slingshot and whip I can get out of the boat. And then we've got a nice little green ball down there that's 80 meters that no one's ever landed on that I'm always reaching for. I'd say my best jump ever here is about 77, 78. So you know, 255 feet is about as far as I've flown, and you know, I think I think 260 is possible, but. You know, when I'm here on my own, it's just Brianne pulling me, I'm jumping, and I'm always trying to come up with a new challenge. And one day, Brianne was like, she puts, like, I get ready in these, I put my skis right there every day. Like, I set them there, I have a routine, I set them down, and I look, and there's this owl, like, why is there an owl sitting where my skis are? And she's like, well, like, often in events, there's someone, like, trying to distract you. There's people coming in your space, and they're like kind of putting their stuff near yours and you gotta be ready for it. So this little guy has been one of my best training tools. Whenever somebody tries to mess with me in a tournament, I know it's just a little cute owl shaking his head around, so it doesn't bother me. Yeah, just, just another little, little challenge we throw into the mix. Recently, with your, uh, with your encouragement, I've attempted to pick up surf. I suck at surfing, but it seems to be pretty fun. Beach time is always awesome. And water skiers love time at the beach to chill and surf, or more like try to surf. And the best way to finish a few days of water ski jumping and surfing is to have a little party. I usually just like sit home and, you know, play cards. Yeah, I don't know. Never been out, man. <laughs> Well, party is over for now. Time to get some work done. Actually, professional water skiing is a very competitive sport. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I have to be ready to compete at the highest level. It also means 
that I will be competing against my friends. The truth is, the biggest competitor you have is yourself. They say that the only person that you should try to outdo is the person that you were yesterday. It is so true. It's always a challenge to deal with your emotions, your current physical state and that flow of adrenaline. You always have to consider different weather conditions, different ski lakes, boats, ramps. But if I'm able to put it all together and do my best, the result of my hard work is boosting off a big jump and giving the other guys some really strong competition. Pro events are very stressful, but I think they are really good for me. It helps me to improve and reach my potential as an athlete. And I also get a chance to represent our sport, my country, and make a living doing what I love. Well, good morning. My name is Scott Ellis. I'm here tying a fishing lure so I can maybe catch some fish first thing in the morning before a jump. Well, this is the lake that I grew up on skiing. Uh, my parents live just a few doors down. Um, I decided to stay on this lake. It's a nice, peaceful lake. Got a few jump courses and uh, just started skiing through a local ski club. Throughout the years, I've had some, some really good, cool moments. Junior team for the first time, uh, breaking my first state record, uh, making the elite team. Um, you know, I had an idol, Sammy Duvall, growing up. That was a legend in jumping. You know, finally being able to compete against him and then eventually breaking some of his records. Um, then being ranked number one in the world and having my own national title. And it's just, I've had a lot of a good stare up to the top. But it seems like uh, the career is still holding in there. I'm 44 now, but I still feel good. Um, I don't quite go over the ramp as much, but I still get excited. I still love jumping far, and um, I'm hoping for some more wins before I quit. Water skiing's led me to you know, my life as it is now and, and led me to my wife, my family, and, and my friends. It's, it's kind of guided me through life and it's given me to, in my mind, all the success that I have. Like, I have a great house, a great family, uh, a lot of great friends. You know, as I kept jumping in my career and further and further, more opportunities kind of arise. And I got a call one time from a show called Stunt Junkies asking if I could do some sort of stunt and break a record. And immediately the first thing I thought of was uh, a jumper named Hank Longo, long, long time ago, jumped over 14 boats. And so I told him, yes, of course, there's a, a record and a stunt I could do. This was my idea. I called Hank Longo and said, I got some good news and some bad news. Good news, we're gonna be on TV. And the bad news, I'm about to break your record. <laughs> But out here at this lake, we've got a good idea if we're gonna put a big target right out in the water and you gotta jump on that target. It's not short, it's not far, but it's, it's uh, something that seems like it's easy, but to go a specific number that's not your max, but not your minimum, I think it's gonna be a little harder than what we think and I'm gonna give that a try. You know, a, a jump crash is scary, it's violent, it only lasts for a couple seconds, but that image in your head is the hardest thing to get rid of. Kind of known for, I've dislocated my hips, uh, both sides twice, um, and the right knee once. 
and that I, the, from the right knee I suffered um, a little bit of paralysis where I have what you call drop foot, so I use a, a brace and a, a lot of duct tape. A lot of people ask me, why do you still jump? You know, what keeps you attracted to it? Um, and there's a few things. It's exciting. It's not just about jumping far. I mean, obviously that's, you know, adrenaline and fear and it's all rolled into one and it's exciting. Like I said, it's, it's an addictive kind of sport and I don't have any plans on stopping. <laughs> It's hard not to think about it all the time. Daydreaming of exploding off the top of the ramp and taking flight, that's just something you do as a jumper. We all look for the right balance in life. And I feel like water ski jumping is a huge part of my balance. It is my true passion. It also helps me to reach my potential as a human being. And it just makes me really, really happy. When you water ski jump, you feel so present, and that's the feeling that all jumpers strive for. It's a similar feeling to when snow skiing in powder or surfing. That natural feeling of being high and when nothing else matters. For the most part of our lives, we are never fully present in the now because unconsciously, we believe that the next moment must be more important than the current one. Water ski jumping makes you feel like you are so fully alive in the now, alive and living this present moment 100%. It makes you feel almost immortal and enlightened in some mystical way. I'm sitting. Yeah.